Now, if you look at the people up, who are going to be up on the stage with me, right, look at the group. We're not talking about a single group, not all faculty, not all students. We have a group of people who came together for a common purpose who want to fight, and we will. But what you have to remember is what this is is a campaign. Okay? What we're going to be doing here, and we've already done it, we've handed out the postcards right to your lawmakers. We're going to have meetings with them in the weeks to come. Join us. Okay? Find me. I'll put your name on a clipboard. And we'll sit down face to face, and you can explain to them why you care about your school and why you care about the future of this part of the state. Okay? We have a lot of work to do. This is just one step. But I'm glad to see you here. I hope you don't get frostbite. <laughs> and I want you to join in as much as you can. Guy I'd like to introduce next, well, you've heard a lot of <coughs> from him already. Okay? He has a very loud voice, but a strong one. Our student, uh, Nick Imbasi. <laughs> No, 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 let's get louder. Let's get louder. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming out. This is very, very important. This is our future we are talking about. This will affect every single one of us. And we need to let our lawmakers and Mr. Corbett know that we will not accept this budget. As I've said before, I work as many hours as possible. I'm a full-time student. I have some other issues at home I have to take care of. And as I'm trying to better myself, if I'm trying to afford a, an education so I can have a career, I am being slapped across my face just like every single one of you are. Yeah. I am being slapped as the millionaires, billionaires, are drilling for natural gas and oil in our state. They get a tax break. We get a 33% tuition hike. Yeah. Does our future lie within the Marshall Shale? Does our future lie within our prisons? No! Where is our future? Here! Yes, our future is right here on this campus. This is where our future is. And as Mr. Corbett makes over $174,000 a year, as he pays all his cabinet members more than the Governor and Rendell administration, and as his wife, Aid. Why she has an aid, I don't know. Why she gets paid $93,000 a year. We get slapped across the face. Boo! We are the future. We are the ones that will move this state and this country forward. I want everyone to join in on a, on a, on a chant with me, all right? Everyone. Education's number one. Guess who Corbett will not fund? Education's number one. Guess who Corbett will not fund? Education's number one. Guess who Corbett will not fund? Education's number one. Guess who Corbett will not fund? Education's number one. Guess who Corbett will not fund? Thank you guys. This is a very important day. We need to stand up for what is right. We are the future, and we will move this state forward. Thank you, Nick. All right, next up is a, he's a shy man, so give him your encouragement. Right, he's a good friend of mine. He's kind of like my stunt double. Uh, he's from our great Department of English, <laughs> Professor Kevin Mahoney. All right, let's make some noise! As a... Uh, a couple of you know, uh, we were out in Harrisburg yesterday, uh, paying a little visit to our house. So one of the things that was most encouraging about this day is as the speakers started to wind down, the students began to chant, whose house? Our house. Whose house? Our house. It could not be any clearer than that. That's an important message for all of us to understand for a few reasons. Number one, absolutely. You take those postcards, 
You write to your legislator, you call them up every single day, you go sit in their office, you stay there for as long as you like, because they are your representatives. Now something happens in politics, right? We've got Judy Swank here, right? We've got the mayor of Kutztown here, who've been nothing but supporters of what we do here. One of the things you started to hear from the politicians out there in Harrisburg, not all of them, but it was a pretty strong voice when they said, listen, we're gonna do the best that we can. The message has to be, that's not good enough. What we want are no cuts, not a compromise where we sell half our future. We want full funding. If you want a compromise, then you start from 150% of where we were last year and you go down from that point. Yeah. The message is, has to be clear. You invest in the future, you do not cut the future. Now one thing is also, Mike mentioned this before, this is a campaign. This is not one and done. One of the legislators got up yesterday and he said, listen, I've been around here a long time and I know how this works. What they're gonna do is they're gonna hem and haw, they're gonna talk about how great the state system is, they're gonna talk about wanting to you know, do what they can, and then they're gonna wait for you all to go home for the summer. And that's when the tuition increases are gonna come. Because they're expecting that once you leave this campus, you're gonna stop caring. Now, I, I was talking to a good friend of mine, Rick Smith over here from the Rick Smith Show last night, and I think Rick's got a good suggestion. So we have to be prepared to be out at Harrisburg all the time. And we need to think about our state capital as camp capital. The next time that we go out there, we have to be prepared to bring our sleeping bags if necessary. We have to make sure that we shout from every rooftop, from the first, the second, and the third floor of the Capitol Rotunda, we will not take these cuts. I'll tell you what, you guys right here, us as faculty, they look at us as lazy people that don't do anything, right? That's got some traction out there in the public. But I'll tell you what, the students, right, you are at the center of this. This is going to rise and fall depending on how much we work together, the numbers that we bring out, and the message that we bring to the Capitol, to our state legislators, to our legislators right here, to our university administration, that we are the future of Pennsylvania. And it is here that the future lies. I love what Nick says. The future of Pennsylvania is standing right here. Make some noise!